Hey guys, welcome back to Knife Watch. This is the CRKT CEO. And it is, um, it's, it's been out for a while, but I don't know why I didn't review it. I gotta tell you, I first wanted this as soon as it came out. I was like, CEO, that's definitely my ambition someday, right? Everybody wants to be a CEO, but it was a CRKT. And let's be honest, okay? CRKT's position in the marketplace right now is they have probably arguably the most dynamic different designs you'll get out of any knife brand ever. <laughs> They have every single designer uh, make a knife for them. And they have some pretty iconic designs. The M16, the Fossil is a, a Walmart classic. Um, I absolutely love CRKT knives. But, guys, I moved on from the 8CR13 MOV Steel. Uh, I moved on that. I moved on from that probably over a year ago. But I still, every once in a while, I get one of these in hand and I'm I'm just like, wow, <laughs> I, I kind of like CRKT. Um, so I, this is gonna be a less serious review. A lot of people are familiar with this knife. Um, you know, we've got some, you know, this is basically GRN, you know, some, some this is basically a reinforced plastic handle. Um, it's pretty lightweight. It's very lightweight, actually. We have, they've actually skeletonized the line, liners. So it's a very lightweight knife and it is only, um, yeah, guys, sorry. Tip, tip is up. I mean, uh, excuse me, tip is down in this carry. Uh, by tip down carry, I mean the way that the knife's, the knife's blade um, sits out is, uh, it's down. The tip of it is down in your pocket. So um, when, you're, when you're rocking this, I actually rock this in the left front pocket and um, it's nice. It's actually very nice. I forget that I have it on me, It's with, but I don't forget that I have it on me. It's it's obviously got a very thin profile. We can do some size comparisons here uh, with the CRK. Obviously, the Chris Reef knives in Cozy and the X. Oh, yeah, the XM18. Love this guy, right? So, I mean, fitting in pocket, kind of a joke to even have the conversation or even do a size comparison. Let's try it with uh, Spider Co. Paramilitary. This is the Maximate version with uh, titanium, flitanium scales. Um, and yeah, so pocket profile, you're good. Um, it's a liner lock, so um, I'll compare it to my, one of my favorite babies right now. It's got to be this uh, Urban EDC F5.5. Um, it's a liner lock too. So liner locks, the Esper Voxnase is making liner locks great again, by the way. This is probably um, one of the knives of the year. Um, and yeah, so back to the CRKT, I was pretty surprised when I got it in hand at how small this blade actually is. Um, but yet it's not small. So let's do, um, that size comparison again, right? And let's compare, let's compare these blade lengths. Um, you're getting a lot of, you're getting a lot of length out of this CEO. Um, in terms of blade profile, you're, you know, spider Paramount military too, you know, he's going to be in trouble here when you talk about the actual size of the actual cutting edge specifically, it's almost exactly the same as the PM2. Um, so, and, and it's much shorter profile, very small. Um, you know, the steel is not as great. Obviously you're not going to have the range, but you know, this is fun because it comes in um, a multitude of colors. I remember when this first dropped, people were really talking about it. And when it came out in my Carta, people were going nuts. Oh my gosh, the CEO is so cool. Are you going to get one? And I was just like, no, I'm not going to get another CRKT knife, but they just sucked me back in. They just, um, their designs are so awesome. So this is obviously Roger's design. Let's check out this blade a little closely. Um, and the edges of it are nice. It's really got some, I would say, like uh, dress knife vibes. That's really what it's meant for the office. It's called the CEO, obviously, but maybe this is the remote CEO. <laughs> if you take a close look at the design on these plastic handles, it's very creative. Does it add to the grippiness? A little bit, yeah. Actually, th this does actually have some grip to it. Um, the more you flex on it, you definitely do get, um, your finger actually does stop the more pressure you put on it. Centering is, <laughs> man, uh, fit and finish, you know, let's talk about CRKT, right? So um, you're not looking for extraordinary fit and finish, but you actually get pretty decent fit and finish here. Um, it's very well, um, I guess you could say chamfered on all the edges. It doesn't feel bad to squeeze it. It's not too much of a hot spot, but let's be honest, guys, this has the bug out feature which is that when you squeeze it, it's, get, it's getting squeezed. Um, it, it feels, I would never say this feels flimsy. It doesn't feel flimsy, but as you can see, 
yeah, I can squeeze the hell out of this knife. And it's a little scary um, to think about using this on a camping trip and this being the last knife that's on you. That's why it would wane in popularity. In, in a normal 2018, 19 situation, yeah, this feels good. But when you're on the brink of apocalypse at all times, um, this does not feel like a, an amazing idea for a pre-quarantine um, <laughs> adventure knife. This, uh, this is really a dress knife. You wear this to like be low key. I would actually really enjoy bringing this with me at places where I'd feel uncomfortable having a knife. Uh, maybe like going to the park with like, like, I mean a kid's park with my kids, right? Like taking them, you know, I, I wouldn't want to like cut my kid's uh, apple in half with this blade, but I think I could do it. Um, this is more like cutting threads off of your suit jacket kind of knife. Whereas if you have that many threads on your jacket that you need a whole knife for it, um, maybe you need to not invest your money in an expensive knife. So you get a CEO by CRKT. So CRKT kind of operates like that. They're, they kind of fill a lot of the voids that a lot of knife companies don't go down. They, do they make knives for enthusiasts? Yes. And they make knives for people who don't mind buying a knife at a gas station. They make knives for, I think everybody. So, uh, this is a, sh a shout out to Columbia river knife and tool. <laughs> they, they did a great job with this one. I actually don't, I'm not mad at it. Um, I would argue that it's a little bit sharp in here when you try to disengage this liner lock be because this little circle thing here, um, it's barely enough room to get in there. So I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me, but my ap aptitude is to just kind of like go along from the right to left to get this liner lock disengaged. As you can see slowly, I, you know, that's how you disengage it. Um, but um, it's sharp in there. It feels like you're getting your hand cut. In, in like in something that it shouldn't be. Um, I would compare that to give you an example to something like this Chris Reeve, right? Where you've got this ample space between the actual thumb stud and the, the you know, the contouring of the, the blade of the handle there. You don't really get any space to do that here. So um, that would be my next con. Um, the fit and finish of this actually is also good, but it's for the quality that you're paying for, um, it's decent. It's fine. Um, you know, this is not, this is actually going to be a really smart option for somebody that is actually afraid of having a knife. Um, a lot of knife people, you know, um, they got into the space slowly, right? So, I mean, I think this is actually a knife that would bring in, you know, enthusiasts to the table. You could actually give this gift as a knife to a non knife person and they'd be like, ah, oh, that's pretty, it's pretty slick idea. I like that. Um, and I feel like they would be proud and actually want something better after having experienced this. The last thing I don't like about this is this giant CRKT on the pocket clip. It's like, this is terrible. This is awful branding. It's not good. Um, it looks cheap. It actually cheapens your knife. You have, look at this profile. I mean, it looks like I'm, I have a jewel pen or some sort of smoking device. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't, ex I would not, ex you know, I would pardon anybody who confuses this for uh, some sort of, you know, something inappropriate, but I guess a knife is inappropriate uh, to, to some people. Uh, but anyway, you get the point of what I'm saying, right? Like this is such a beautiful, cool little gadget. Like it looks good. I, w I don't really know what it is when it's closed. It's very inconspicuous. And I love, I love that. Excuse me. Wow. Thank goodness it wasn't open. Um, I love that about it. But then I turn it over and it's like, what is CRKT? It's tacky. This is very tacky. Um, I'm just going to put it out there like 2021, don't show many knives with huge logos. I'm just over it. Uh, you can give me like a huge symbol. I don't mind a symbol. That's pretty cool. I'll give you an example, XM18. Like I don't mind seeing this horse, but like when you just, like if it said hinderer on the front, I mean like guys, cut me a break. Speaking of which, it, it, it does say hinderer, but hinderer gets a pass because hinderer is freaking awesome and premium. And this is like an affordable knife that I actually... I don't really want people to know that this is CRKT because it would actually present like a very, very expensive, sophisticated knife if it didn't have such a large logo. And look how big that logo is compared to the knife. It's like one sixth of the knife, <laughs> uh, one fifth. Um, I don't know, it just takes up a lot of space. So anyway, overall, what would I give this knife? I, I would give it a cookie. <laughs> I mean, it deserves a cookie. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's good, I love it, it's sweet. Um, I would rock it. I'll, I'll carry it. Um, I, I've been carrying it for the past week, and I got to tell you, um, it, it actually impressed me with my everyday tasks. But there's blade play. You know, obviously, you can squeeze it. 
it's not gonna last forever. And, um, you know, but I wouldn't mind if, if this was my first knife, I'd be proud. So last minute holiday gifts, belated, you know, Christmas gift, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all that. Um, no, not a bad idea. Um, and I don't think a lot of people will be scared of this uh, knife. So it's a very social blade as well. I love dress knives, actually. So don't mind it. Anyway, that's enough blabbering. First impressions, um, the CRKT CEO. And um, we'll do a more long-term review if it sticks around. But, um, you know, actually I'm not disappointed that I picked it up. So, um, yeah, I just, you know, you get what I'm saying. Like, I'm not overall, like, crazy about it. But for what it is, it's different. It's interesting. And I think that this is a perfect... Uh, non-knife person that's knife, but a knife person like myself actually would enjoy it for its novelty as well. So there you go, CRKT CEO. Peace and love, like and subscribe. Knife Watch, out.